Visit us at Eduvo. Thank you for calling Eduvo. Hello guys, and how are you? So we are in Blended 3.0.1, I'm sorry. And uh, Blended 3.1 is new released and you can download that from blender.org or blender.org. So we just click on general and open a new project. As you can see, this is the default as we had before in Blender 3.0. So if I just click on this icon and about Blender, you can access to its information. So uh, yeah, that's it. We want to make and model a cool bench and table, of course. So uh, yeah. So before that, I just we are in solid mode, okay, right now. During the modeling process, I will teach you the hotkey and I speak about the um, how you can use the blender to make your own model. Okay. So first of all, I just click here on this icon and turn on the cavity and shadow. And instead of study, I'm going to use a matte cap. And we choose this one. That's fine for default. You can try the other, like this green one. Okay. And this one, or maybe this one. Okay. All of this is really cool, but that's really good. I'm going to start with this one. So, and even if I just click here on the or, uh, viewport overlays, okay, and open up that, you can even turn on the wireframe and you can see it's wireframe. So if I just quickly press tab and go to the edit mode and right click and something like that, you're going to see that I add some, uh, another wireframe to that. Okay, so that's it. So, um, yeah, that's about that. So I just press Ctrl and Z, and I have a cool add-on, which is here. I just will turn on this one so that you can follow along. Um, maybe sometimes I forget to explain what I'm clicking, so you can see those here. For example, middle mouse, it will um, make a rotation holding middle mouse and just drag your mouse around by holding shift and middle mouse it will make a pan as you can see shift and middle mouse and then holding count holding down control and middle mouse for a zoom and zoom back or just a scroll up and down it will as well make the zoom so if you want to focus on an object you simply just select for example this here we have a light and i just press numpad period and it will zoom on that specific area so inst instead of just explaining each of these uh, so let me show you in practice okay during modeling this cool um yeah bench so i just select these two guys and press x and delete that so we are going to start with a default cube okay that's fine so what we're going to do is actually start with this cube. So we can click here, okay? As you can see, move, rotation, and scale. If I just click on scale, and this is all of the axis. As you can see, the green, which is Y axis, okay? And the red color is X axis. And the blue one, which is we have here is the Z axis. You can turn and enable the Z axis from here, okay? But that's not necessary for me. And um, because we selected this scale, now we can scale those, okay, as we wish. So I'm gonna scale those like like so, like so. Or instead of um, playing around with here, we can use some hotkeys, okay? So instead of tweaking and dragging these um, handles, I just press S. As you can see, I just press S and it will scale, S for scale. And then Y, press Y and it will scale along the Y axis. Okay, so now press S and X and press Z and it will scale that 
along those axes that you type and it will work the same for rotation and uh, movement or position okay so if you just drag from here and the hot key for those for for example for move is g okay not m that's going to be g so g and then x or y or maybe z and s it was for a scale okay and for rotation which will rotate objects that's the hotkey is y uh, i mean r r for rotation okay and it will rotate that along the x i mean z or x or y so that's it okay so uh, i just click here and select the select box okay by that you can just select and if you hold down a second as you can see a small icon there you can change and uh, to some different of these uh, guys of these tools for example tweak if you select the tweak you can just drag that okay and if you select the select box um, you just kind of select okay so we will discuss about each of these in its place so when it's time to explain about this so we gonna start from here so press s and then and then z to scan those in z axis and then s and y okay so that we can scale those bigger than that or maybe s and z again to scale that yeah just a bit like that so and uh, there is um many actually tools that we need to explain those but you don't have to worry about those if you watch this tutorial so you're gonna understand um, those tools that you are need actually for this specific model so don't worry about those you're gonna learn um all of those step by step so now if i just press n and we go to the item as you can see here we have the location which is this one or movement and rotation which is this one okay and a scale we have here a scale as you can see if i just um click here add and we can add a cube from here or the hot with that is shift and a and in the mesh in the mesh menu you have all the mesh and the curves and surface and etc which we will talk about some of those that we are going to use so i click here and add a cube okay if i just press g and z let me look at um to its location and rotation and scale if i just click here as you can see location and rotation is zero but the scale we see some changes and here everything is fine one but here we see some problem actually why i'm gonna tell you about that that's because we are going to use some for example modifier which is this is the icon for modifier okay so if i just add a bevel modifier as you can see how nice it works okay and even we can play around the amount okay really cool really nice even the segment we can add some segments three is fine but here if i just add the same modifier which is bevel modifier as you can see how bad result we're gonna get that's because of the scale okay so i just gonna delete that one again and for make that fine and smooth like this one so we need to apply this scale values or the numbers so that's how we're going to do that yeah that's by pressing ctrl and a if you press ctrl and a you can apply apply what location rotation and scale or all transform transforms so in this case our location rotation is fine so we're going to press again ctrl and a and we're going to apply the scale look what will happen with this one boom everything is one so now if i just add from the modifier tab from here add the bevel it gonna works really fine okay so that's it about the applying so that's really important so i just wanted to uh tell you uh 
from the beginning of the videos of the tutorials. So that's it. Now I want to add another modifier, which is array modifier. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that in three and I just play around with this factor and set that in uh, 1.01, .01, okay? So that we see some gaps or even more than that. Yeah, that's fine about here. Okay, so now we see these cool things. And even from here, so that, so in order to make a bench, so we need to scale that just a bit. So we are in object mode, okay? And now we want to move to edit mode because we want to edit some objects. So we just click there, okay? And I, I want to look at from the top. So to look at from the top, we press simply seven on your ROM pad, okay? Seven, nine, we'll look at from the uh, bottom, one, Look at from the side you can read those okay i mean front you can read those so one is front orthographic three is right orthographic seven is top and nine is from the bottom and and so on so eight and four and six and two is something else for example by pressing four you can just make rotation like that by pressing six you can rotate like that and eight it will rotate like that okay so you got the idea so press seven look at from the top and because we we have one object but we added a array so if i just um click here and i select the select box and i just drag these guys and press g for move and y i want to move that according y axis okay and then select these two and press G and X. Okay, I want to make something like this. Yes. So that's fine. Press Tab again. Get rid of the edit mode, and we are here. Okay. As you can see, when we added, I mean, when we change, um, change this object. I can change that. Call, call that wood. Okay, and we're gonna delete that one. We don't want that. When I did some changes, this number hasn't changed, okay? So, but when we edit that in object mode, you're gonna see some changes, as you can see. So that's um, one idea to keep your um, editing in your edit mode, okay? So that you're gonna get the result with, without any distortion. So that's fine, okay? And even I want to, yeah, or that's fine, that's fine. So yeah, I want to press tab again or from here, go to the edit mode again, okay? So I just, if you press on this uh, guy, okay, you will turn off the real time. If you turn on this one, you're gonna see those in real time. But if you uh, turn that off, you're gonna see just this one specific object. So what I'm going to do is add some loop cuts, okay? How are we going to add loop cuts? Yeah, that's here. So we can add some loop cuts like so, and here, one here, okay? And then select this one to get rid of that. But I don't want to add some loop cut like that. I just press Ctrl and Z, okay? And the hotkey for adding some loop cuts is Ctrl and R. And now, if I just scroll up and down, it will add more or less loop cut for me okay so about here that's fine i think yeah i want to add some loop cut something like that okay so that's why and then i want to turn on the real time i want to see those changes okay so that's fine okay so great so now i have the bench so that we're gonna sit on that but we have an, any leg and we have any um, something like here is to the protect when we sit on that. Okay, so that's simply really easy. So we gonna learn now how to make a duplication. Okay. Um, yeah. So there is many steps. So how are we gonna do that quickly? 
is that we hold on shift and d to make a duplication of that okay and if you now press z it will move that according to the z axis fine so that's right here I, I don't want to have the array modifier okay so i just delete that so that we have only here so and we select this one the top is the top part and we i press tab go to the edit mode and press seven so let me uh focus on just on this spe specific object by pressing numpad period or i'm sorry numpad period will zoom on on some uh on one object that you want to choose but if you want to focus on just on that object you're going to press numpad slash on your keyboard okay so we don't see anything just but this one so press 7 look at from the top go to the edit mode by pressing tab and now one cool trick is that we can switch between these and wireframe mode solid mode and render and etc so and the hot with that is pressing z Okay, solid, wireframe. Okay, if you just super fast switch between those, you're gonna, for example, press Z and then right, Z and left. You're gonna switch between those. So I just select these guys, okay, and seven and G, X. I'm gonna make that a smaller, okay, like so. And just to be the small, like two. Yeah, that's fine. So press again on by the slash to get back everything. Okay. And even I want to so press um, Z and go to the wireframe. And I want to make those a bit thinner. So when you are in wireframe mode, you can select everything. Okay. From here because it's wire. And if you are in solid mode, okay, if I just click here. And if I uh, press one and look at from the front orthography, if I select now, I just, I'm, it will allow me to select just this front and not the other, okay? So for selecting everything, we have to go to the wireframe mode. Select G, Z, like so, and that's fine, okay? Okay, that's great. So, now we have these cool things until now and what we need more is adding some another um we are adding another cube shift a add another cube okay look at from the top go to the press z and wireframe right mode and uh, about here okay so i just scale that s and z okay we can scan that and move that G Z about here. Okay. So in this case, so let me, um, as you can see, we have some distortion. So Control A, apply the scale, and we're gonna add the bevel again here as well. Okay. So that's fine. So let me shift the this one g and y and we push that one here as well okay so i want to uh, I, I go to the edit mode and Control r to add some loop cuts right here as well and some for here as well for example for here okay so i'm going to change some some of this guy for example here i want to change that i want to make that a little bit on on uniform okay i think that's much cooler okay like so and one of these gonna something like that okay and as well this one so i just adding some changes here and there boom and one here okay it will add just a bit realism okay and we look at from the top by pressing 7 g and x i want to move that in here okay 
and G set up a little bit. So in here, I just select everything and press S and uh, Y. I want to scale that in Y axis just a bit. And as well here, select A to select everything. Press A and select everything. S and Y, just a bit, guys. Okay, like so. And as well here, I want to add that. Okay. It will give us some um, realistic things, I think. And here. And boom. So everything is fine. And we have here, okay? So in order to make those as well, we can change and apply these uh, cool things. As you can see, we I have some uh, add-on here, which will apply all of these modifiers by one click, okay? In order to enable that, you just click on Edit Preferences, and you just click on the Modifier, I think. Yeah, Modifier Tools, and enable that. As soon as you enable that, if I just disable, as you can see, it will go away and enable, enable. And then you have to save that, okay? And refresh, and you will have that. So I just, I want to apply everything, okay? So apply. Oh, or maybe I want to keep that bevel and apply that first. Apply the um, array modifier, okay? So I have something like this. So, that's about that. And even I can apply those as well. So I can apply everything at once. So press everything, select everything, and press P. I want to separate each of these um, wood, okay? So press one of these. So let me select everything. P, not the selection. Select and by loop, by lose parts, okay? So now these are individual parts. So in order to add that realism, we can select from here or we can use professional editing. Okay, so in this, in this case, I just add, um, enable my professional editing by pressing O, O, the hotkey for that. So I just add some of these guys right here. Okay, guys, so that's finish. And uh, by actually, what I did here, if I just click here, I just drag that, okay, and the professional editing is enabled. Now, if you just scroll up and down, you will make some smaller area, or for example, if I just make a big, as you can see, the professional editing will affect the other vertex, vertex which is behind that. So in order to make the legs for the uh, bench is we can borrow from here. So instead of scale, I just click on select box. So press one, okay. Um, and let me look at from here, from the top G, Y, I want to move those. So now I don't want that. I want to and, uh, disable that. So G, Y, I want to make this a little bit newer like so. Just a bit, not too much. Look at from the right orthographic. For me, is front. So shifty, make a duplication, and we're gonna scan those. Um, okay, press S and X. So let me press O to disable the professional editing. S and Y. I'm sorry to make the legs a bit bigger. Okay, so in order to I want to rotate that 180. So press R and 180 type that. Okay. So I think that's fine here. And one shifty and copy one right here. R and Z 90 degrees. I want to R for rotation and Z axis and type 90 degrees. And if I just open up this one, R for rotation, angle should be 90 degrees and in Z axis. Okay. I want to make a little bit random. So go to the edit mode. I mean, wireframe mode. Select these two guys. Shift D, G, and push those here. 
Okay. So that's it about the bench. I think the legs for here is too high. So I select everything and press tab. And now press O to turn on the proportional editing. G. Okay, I want to make those a bit shorter. So now increase the radius of the proportional editing. I think that should be fine about here. Okay, like so. Anyway, we can tweak some of these by the hand, like so, so that we're gonna get some nicer look. So hold, holding control, I mean holding down Alt and right and um, left click. Okay, it will select a loop. Holding down Alt and for example here, I want to select a loop of here. Alt and left click, it will select a loop. As you can see, this is a loop. And by holding Alt and Shift, you will select multiple objects. And by pressing GG twice, you can slide these guys up and down. So that's it, I think. Yes. And even I think we can add uh, here as well. So um, so let me press three and look at from here from this side. Shift D, take another duplication and G and Y. Okay, I want to make uh, one right here. So I have the proportional editing enabled. G and Z about here. I think that's fine. Shift D, G and Y. And I want to make one right here and R, Z type 90 degrees or maybe R, Z 180. Okay. So that, yeah, I think that's much better. Okay. So we have a cool bench for the game, really ready for the games. For those who want to learn about the game industry, and how to model so this low poly models works really nice and that's gonna fit your project okay so that's it and make sure to follow us on youtube channel art St studio you have a youtube channel as well Yes, so that's it. Uh, and look, guys, we're gonna make a cool uh, table as well. So that we're gonna select these guys, okay? And we want to change its position. Look at from here, okay? So G, X, want to push this one, for example, here, and G, and maybe we want to. As you can see, its origin, if I just press R and rotate that, it will rotate according around that uh, yellow dot, which is its origin, okay? So in order to change its origin back to its center, you just right click and set origin to geometry, and we have that in center. R, Z, 180. I want to make some changes here. Okay, like so. Okay, and for example, I want to make those something like that. And I want to shift D and take a duplication and push it right here. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, guys. So now we have that. And we look at from here. And that should be fine. That should be fine. So I just add shift A, add a cylinder. Okay, cylinder, that's fine. And I push it here, look at from here and R, rotate 90 degrees. 
and I scan that in Y axis just a bit. Or maybe let me press Ctrl Z. S and Z. Okay. So that's it. And uh, even I could, I could uh, make that, as you can see, this is too detailed. So I just press Shift S. Now it's time to using 3D cursor. Shift S, I want to move my 3D cursor from here to this point. Shift S, okay. Cursor to select it. And the 3D cursor will mm, move at that uh, point. So I just delete that one. Okay, and now everything I'm adding, new object or whatever it can be, it will appear right here. Okay, so Shift A, add another cylinder. As you can see, it will appear in that 3D cursor. So instead of 3D2, I want to use 16, the half of that. So we're gonna add a bevel right here. Okay, as you can see, how cool is that? So look at from here, we go to the edit mode, S, Z, okay, S and Z, or even, or even I can press Ctrl and Z and make those, for example, rotate in, uh, in Y, yeah, like so, okay, in Y, and then look at from here. And we can go to the edit mode and scale that just a bit like so. So turn off the proportional editing. We don't need that right now. And we can shift D and take a duplication. Or let me, um, yeah, select both and about here. Okay. So actually, I just delete that one and I s um, now I'm in vertex mode. We can select the edge mode or the face mode. Okay. So the hot cover those is one, two, three. As you can see, one, two, three. One is vertex, two, edge, three for face. So I just press two to select that um, edge right here. Okay. So I'm going to make that really flat, like so. And even, I think that's fine. Okay. So now I'm going to make a duplication of that. Like so. And, um, or even I can make the same thing for the bottom as well. Okay. G and Z. Like so. And now, now if I just add a array, and not in that direction, but in negative direction. Boom. We have that right here. So we can shift the um, G, Y. We can move those one here as well. So that's it. And now if I just um, make some changes here, for example, if I just press one and select this one and first press control and R to add some um, a loop cut. Now we can start changing some of these points like here. Or let me, one other cool is that we apply the bevel modifier, okay? But we're gonna keep the array and we just delete that one as well. So, so as you can see, we can now add some changes like so. By double G, it will slide these vertices like so as you can see the problem is that when we adjust some of these setting the array will adjust so we don't want that for now so we're gonna adjust as well here just a bit and some of these and we're gonna push those back and in like so okay so that it gonna See a little bit unorganized. Yeah. Okay, that's too much, I think. Yeah, I think that's gonna work 
really fine and about here as well okay maybe here just a bit so that's fine now and look at from here i just gonna move that upward like so and even we can make this one scale just a bit yeah that should be fine and we select both move those here by g and we rotate those r set 180 degrees okay like so and even here just a bit that's fine okay so we have these cool things here and uh, and that's it so the modeling here is we are finished with the modeling okay so the next thing gonna be we gonna speak about the textures how we're gonna texture these guys and etc okay so thank you very much and see you in the next video okay guys hi again we are back so from here we will start adding some texture okay so for that we go to the yeah it called for viewport shading and the other is actually rendering so in viewport shading as you can see we have nothing no color at all no texture at all okay just yeah just some simple color which is white so uh, i have actually these textures which i download those from yeah uh 3d textures dot me which is super great uh site which offer for free and if you want you can think to support them as well so i have these guys i am i have these these textures so in order to apply some textures to this um to your model okay so we need to go to the shading okay the shading we don't see uh those wireframes if you want to see those you just enable those from here as well no problem so i think that's much cooler so i will have those so once you click here and we are in viewport shading um, here we can blade some other and see th some other hdri from blender okay for us this is cool okay we can go ahead with that one and here you can um play around with the strength okay and here the opacity if you don't want to see the hdr for, for the background you can turn those off yeah the blur blur again and if you just enable these guys you no longer will use the blender hdri if you want to set up your own hdri which you can do that from here okay so until now i'm i'm gonna use the blender hdri okay so that yeah for now so so yeah here as you can see once i click on shading we see this viewport that we can see our model and here is something called for shader editor if you just click on here and here we see this icon image edit and etc so in here we can add some texture to this object okay in this area in order to add some texture we can drag one by one like this and and we have that okay and for example yeah as you can see here and we need to unwrap those in a trip and etc so first of all before this adding some texture we need to unwrap some of these guys okay so if we unwrap those we go back to the um, solid mode so i just click and select those select one of these 
And in order to unwrap those, that's really easy. So I just press 2 to select the edge mode. And I click here, okay? For example, from here. Uh, I just press the slash to focus on just on this one, okay? So here I want to add a mark sim. How are we going to do that? So I just hold, holding Alt and left click. And it will, if we go to the wireframe mode, it will select the loop edge for me. Okay. I want to add mark sim. So you're going to understand what I mean. And holding down Alt and Shift and left click again. And, and we have a loop right here as well. And hold on. Control and deselect this guy and this one as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. Or even we can, for example, just select, hold on Alt and click once, and then hold on Shift and select this area as well. Okay, like so. So we just want to add Maxim here. Okay. And as well, select this guy. And now you're going to right click. Um, and choose Maxim. Okay. Now we added the Maxim. So now we go back, press set to material preview. And instead of dragging each of these guys one by one, okay, like so, I just um, first select this um, location by Ctrl and C, copy that. And then I have an add on which is really useful, which I told you. Or maybe not. That's gonna be no Drangular, okay? Enable that, okay? Just enable that. And uh, open up that and click on Edit Tags, okay? As you can see here, um, the last name is Base Color, okay? So you're gonna include that base color as well okay so that's really important because this one is it has some color call base and etc and uh, when you will import your uh, map colors or textures it will searching for these num uh, names and because our texture has this name in the last so this node angular will not able to find that so just type uh, type the base color in here and save that okay so now if i just click uh, select this one and press ctrl shift and t and we paste that uh thing uh, i mean uh, location that we copied and in this case i just want to select this one and not hide normal and roughness okay and if i just click on principal textures because I have two base color. If you want to, you can use this one as well. And principal, and it will make everything really nicely for you. And now even shifty, or let, let me talk about those later. And even we can click here and play around with this one. Open, and this is much darker. Press Control and Z. So now the UV unwrapping is really bad we need to fix those okay so as you can see we need to select this one and paste that here as I told you okay because I have so I don't need that otherwise it will um, don't connect this one it will miss this base color okay for you so that's fine. So now I select everything. Press A to select everything. Okay, we go to the material preview. And 
we go to the UV editing. As you can see, this is perfect right now, but some stretching going on here. So in order to fix that, we just press U here in this phase, in this uh, area, U and Smart UV Project. Okay, and if I just press number the slash, you can see the result, how it is cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. So even you can just drag this one, for example, you can set those here, and even you can make those bigger or smaller, because this texture is tiled, so without it, you don't have to be worried. Okay. And uh, yeah, so that's fine, I think. Yeah, go back to the shading. We need to adjust some of this guy here. Okay. I think we need to go to the to UV editing again. Select everything, U and unwrap. Okay. And now I think that's much nicer. Okay, as you can see, everything works really fine. So U and UV unwrap. And it will separate this um, UV based on this mark seam. And as you can see here, if I just press three and select this one, we see that here. And if I just select here, we see that here. So, and if, if you, instead of that one, if you just click on here, you can choose, okay. For example, this is here. Even you can move those like so. Okay. And if you just click because you select this guy, you will play around with it underneath. That's super nice. Okay. And here you can play around. I think was it here. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. And even you can, for example, R and rotate that, okay? So that you're gonna match uh, here. And even this last object, R and 90, just type 90. Press R and 90. Okay, guys? As you can see, how cool is that? And this is actually too low poly which is perfect for game. And we need to tweak some of these, yeah, some of these uh, nodes, for example, the roughness, we need to press Shift A. Shift A here works and here as well, or you can just click on Add. And here we want to click on Search and type Ramp Color, okay? So here we have a ramp color. This is too glossy, I think. And I want to play around so that we don't see because a wood, a bench in the park isn't too glossy, or maybe isn't glossy at all. So I just delete this one. I don't want to have that. And instead, I call for a bump. Click here and connect that one to height and select this one, drag that and connect that to normal. Okay, and let, wait, as you can see. So this is a bump color, okay? And you can play around with here with the distance, not too much, just a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so the next is play around with the specular. Look at how it will affect the specular. So I think that's fine about all. So that's it, guys. We have this cool wood. And if we go back here, so I just set it up this one, okay? We just turn off this one. We can we are not going to see any um overlay. And we are using the EV, okay? And if I just enable the ambient and etc. Okay. We are in render mode and Look what will happen if we switch to cycle. Much realistic. 
instead of 1000 i'm gonna set in a lower number so that's it so turn off that one so as you can see how nice it is okay and that's about the uv unwrapping and if i just make all of these guys each by i mean all of these so it will take um really big time so i just wanted to teach you the, the one of these and you can follow the rest so the next thing i want to explain this one as well and the other you can um do you yourself so this one is white and have no texture so just select this one and then holding shift and select this one which has the material okay so control and l press control and l and link the material and it will link that automatically how cool that's perfectly without any uv unwrapping but anyway i want to go to the uv editing okay let me press numpad slash so that we're gonna see everything and instead of this normal i click here and choose here okay so maybe we can rotate here 90 degrees okay so that it match perfectly so maybe we can push those here even you can scale those as well and the same for here as well okay select from here or 90 degrees and that should be fine okay because this is a cylinder which is this one i mean so press um i mean press once you select a part so press and you want to select the other part uh you just simply press l and you're gonna see everything so we select this one and we select that one and as you can see here if i just add some as i did before i select this one and press two you are able when you are in edge mode you are able to add maxim okay and from here maybe here i want to select this one i want to add another maxim holding control and shift and click and it will make a straight line and add another so select everything you unwrap wow so select everything r and 90 degrees okay like so and maybe we can mirror those uh, actually i want to see these guys here so i just move those in here so here um, maybe we need to change that to make some smaller okay as well actually for this one these guys we could use another texture okay which will fit our model but I think that's gonna be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, make the rest of this texturing, okay? And you're gonna see those in the final uh, scene. So when I'm ready, we will start again. So see you there. Okay, guys, so I'm finished with the texturing, okay? And here is the result, which you can look. Okay, and here in the cycle, let me just use the Blender, yeah, Blender HDRI. So that's really cool, isn't it? So go to the material preview. Uh, I actually added some, I want to add some nails, okay, from which to make some realistic things. So if I just press Shift and right click, by that you will move the 3d cursor in the uh, wanted place for example shift and right click i want to move that here and there and, and this is just a simple thing for example i that's a just a, a sphere with eight um segment and i just added a bevel okay which you can see here if we go to the solid mode 
here is a bevel with three segments okay let's shift and as you can see with eight segments we can scale that down and the height is fine bevel three segment and yeah boom okay and you can play around with the height so i just delete that and i have another textures which is metal okay i will um bring those in okay so as i told you you can download those from the 3d textures which i told you so and hold on Control shift and t and i need base color metallic normal and roughness okay these guys oh i just select these guys and yeah that's it not height i don't want to hide okay so yeah so here is we see normals and we have the roughness and metal no that's base color oh as you can see it will sometimes oh that's metal i think metal from the first okay and the base color should be here okay as you can see here is the actual name profit so everything is fine and instead of this normal map i'm just gonna use bump okay and connect this one to that actually this is too small to see those details for example in a bigger area you can use actually high quality so that's everything is fine everything is clearly fine if you want you can for example add some marks in here okay select that one and reface we need to go to the um yeah edge and right click and add mark sim and press number the slash so we don't want to have this guy underneath okay so we just delete the face okay and um, one for maybe here add mark sim and that's it okay so now if we go to the uv editing you can see it's already nice okay so that's it and uh, actually this is not the texture and we need to yeah here so that's too big i think we are gonna make those smaller move those here and this one should be here for example now we're gonna see much nicer and even here we can for example add some of these details here for example as you can see okay so i just push that like so or maybe we make those just a bit bigger okay yeah oh that's fine so in order to stick some of these nails in here and there there is a cool trick that you can use a right click and shade smooth and you can come here to this object property that on normal and click on that as well and you can play around with some of these numbers so anyway um for example one nails here i just can drag this one and we can instead use the snap open up that one set on face and align rotation i think yeah yeah rotation align the rotation and movement okay so now if i press shift d it will it will very nicely do its job so turn off that one for a second uh look at here and we want to make this one just a bit smaller so we need to yeah unwrap that again you you will unwrap so that let me go to the, the edit mode and select that just select this area you and or maybe yeah this one so or rotate that about here okay that's fine g 
push it here. Okay, even we can scale this. So now, uh, what we can do is drag this guy. Okay, we go to the layout again, on that slash to bring everything back. So Shift D, turn on this one, align rotation, everything is fine. Shift D and just move those in the area that you want. So unorganization is really important. And even here, so why it should. So let me go here, click on face orientation, everything is fine. So sometimes maybe you see some red color, okay? If you see that, Alt N, or let me go to the wireframe mode. Yeah. Sometimes you maybe see these red colors like that one okay that means that your normal has been flipped so you go to the edit mode select a select everything by a alt n and flip the normals and turn off the face orientation again so that's it, okay so if you wonder why that will happen that's mean that your normal has been flipped so yeah that's fine and one here, one here maybe, and maybe I want to push some here and there, okay, even for more, for making more interesting. Or maybe. I think that's fine. Um, so let me turn off the. Oh, we don't need even here, okay? So we maybe need, for example. So we, I think those are too big, isn't? But well, that's fine. So we select one, one here. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So. And here you see how really it will add some details and make some more interesting things. Okay. So guys, that's it. And if you want to render out something, you can press A and add a camera and press zero so that looking inside the camera and press N, open up this menu. We have the view and camera to view now if you just move that you will look in through the camera so go to the solid mode okay maybe in this case yeah here is the perspective and here is the orthographic so we press again two i mean zero looking we are looking through the camera we click on our camera and here is its icon so yeah the lens type we are using the perspective now if you want you can change that to orthographic camera as well so you can change its scaling about here in order you want to for example make a cool render like that and you can change it again third in direction for example here if you go to the render mode boom i think for me the perspective will works fine. Okay. Yes. And in order to render, we are using cycle. I have a greater GPU than CPU. So you set on that. That's really important. Uh, if you have a graded graphic card, you can set on that. And even when you are 
looking real time in real time by enabling the denoising that will uh, calculate really fastly so we report um i set on 124 the render is too high so i'm gonna say that about maybe 300 okay yeah i think that's much nicer i like these numbers a lot and we have on the underneath we have the yeah fill i want to take it transparent okay and later i want to make some changes in photoshop and uh, even i here i just want to add some plane okay so shift s cursor to world origin and i add a plane and I scale that a lot so let me go to the get rid of the camera by pressing zero okay i will i want to push that one here okay scan that push it right here and we maybe scan that again and now we look at we're looking through that if you wonder why i'm doing that that because i want to use this plane uh, if i just click on here use this plane for a as actually as a um, yeah shadow catcher if i just um click on shadow catcher as you can see a little bit shadow i see underneath that so that's give me the real is their actual the realism okay so i don't want to see the diffuse in camera i need that transmission and etc i don't want to see those so that's fine i think so back to the camera and that's about the film set on transparent and we have no glass so that's fine so click on color management and that's fine or gb filmic is fine you can play play around with the high contrast uh is minimum as you can see high contrast or very high or medium which will works for you i think medium high contrast for me looks really nice so i just save by press uh, ctrl s you can save your project and give that a destination or location now if i just press f12 oh by the way um click here on this printer icon output i am using a 90 20 by 1080 which is full hd that's fine um and then here is your output you're gonna use a destination for that or location to save your work and i'm using a png that's fine even you can um, use some video and for for render a transparent okay you need to set that an rgba so that's fine and for rendering just click on render image if you have the animation you can click on animation but for now we have oh by the way as you can see you can't actually use the blender uh hdri for your uh rendering okay so that's it so therefore i'm gonna um use an add-on which is easy hdri which is free uh, the way to install the Easy HDRI add on that's re really simple. I have a folder here which I have the Easy HDRI add on. I just copy this uh, location and from here, from the Blender, uh, we just go to the Edit Preferences and in here we need to click on Add ons. And here I have already that, okay? So that's it and if you want to install that so you just click on install and paste that okay um location and click on install add-on and then you just need to enable that by clicking for them here okay and to have that always click on or uh, click on these three lines and save the preferences okay that's it that's the way to uh install the any kind of HDR, I mean any kind of add-on.
So that's it. And I have a collection, okay, of HDRIs, which I uh, I'm really happy with that. And I download those from HDRI Heaven, which is really great uh, page or site for sharing the HDRIs. Okay, and now we can. Uh, I have a couple of these, so I just can. Um, blade between those oh by the way uh, as you can see i can't see the effects that's because i'm using the blender uh, hdri so click on here and the lights and now i'm using the my own hdr as you can see how it will affect my work so here is to um you're in the grass you're in a studio Okay, I'm just looking, which is going to be much nicer for me. Okay, all of this is cool. And even here we have. And I think this one should work. Yeah, that's nice. I think that's nice. Okay. And even I can play around with the sun and etc. So let me select this one as well. Just wait a minute to see that. Yeah, so we share with that. So press F12 or click here. F12. And it will take render. As you can see, it should. Yeah. Now you're going to see because we have our own HDRI. So that's really important okay so that's about it and we're in a slot one it will take just a bit and even you can click on this icon and turn on the denoising data Okay, that will help you for uh, get rid of the noise. So it will take a couple of seconds until our render will be finished. Okay. Then in the Photoshop, I will adjust some of these parts. And even here, we see some uh we need to yeah play around with, with these guys a little bit more as you can see this first which is i spend a bit time a bit more time much nicer than the other but anyway that's about the low poly modeling okay yeah here you have that so thank you very much so be sure to write us and okay guys so here we are and as you can see here, I just added these, um, yeah, these shapes, which you can see there. Okay. So this is called graffiti and one here, a Spider-Man, as you can see. And I just made these guys, these nails a little bit um i mean shorter i just scale those down okay as you can see just just get those even we could for example push those in okay instead and that will works the same okay so about how to fix and make these guys how to project these guys in your object so we're gonna I'm going to speak about those in my future courses as well because I want to keep this one uh, about two hours. Yeah, about two hours. So, so that's going to be, so I'm not going to include this one um, in this, yeah, video courses and uh, video course. So be sure to check out the, our page on Udemy Art Studio. 
there you will find more and really useful videos some of those is free okay so by the way um i just added the camera and i will take a render animation okay so what i did is that i added it empty here as you can see this is an empty so by press shift and let me enable my shortcut viewer so shift a we yeah under here empty all of this is empty i just added a sphere okay and i scan that up and i just delete this one and i push that at at the very center of these i'm of my um yeah, objects or models okay and then what i did is that i parented the camera to that empty okay by holding down first the camera and the last should be the empty and press ctrl mp and keep transform it will um yeah parent that as you can see a line you see here and that's me that this is parented and what i did is that i just um if i press n we go to the item as you can see here is yellow that's mean that i added some keyframe if you look at here from the frame one onto frame 300 if i just type 300 so it will start from one to 300 if i just click here we jump to the end uh, so when i'm here i just reset these guys x and delete the keyframes so i'm in here okay that's the rotation z rotation i right click on that insert single keyframe and i jump to the very last frame and i type 360 okay and right click insert keyframe and as you can see it will start so this is our camera it will start from very slow and when it's here it will again come back to its place and it kind of look like um yeah a loop animation so what i'm gonna do is start this one from the zero actually okay so we look at from here so just look at the camera or we can press zero and look from here what will happen yeah it will jump okay as you can see maybe if you push that here yeah a small jump we have here but that's fine okay as you can see now everything rotates and my camera just looking through those i mean everything is in center and that's it so in order that if you want to make a cycle animation or right, select these two keyframes all right click and interpolation mode and instead this is the base here if i just press tab in here or we select the graph editor okay if i just press a to select this keyframe here is keyframe press a and then press non-pad period it will focus on these two keyframes as you can see this is a linear right click interpolation mode bezier this is like a bezier okay boom right click and we choose instead a linear so it will make a loop like that so uh, save your work and yeah so we are here and yeah by the way about the texturing i just added these cool things as well and what i did i have another texture i just downloaded that from the google that's a uh, cut off like a rings from the yeah as you can see here true rings true rings and etc true ring i don't actually know how it what they call just yeah just download some image like that and what what i did is that in here i'm in material uh, properties i just click on this uh plus and i will add another um so let me just delete this one from here okay so 
uh, we are in object mode so I just delete that one and as you can see this is the original so I just click here and new and assign that and this is white okay so what I did is that I import that okay I just uh, drag that from here okay and connect this one to here or let me show you because I have that in here cut ring okay so that's just the texture itself and I just um, added the RGB curves in by a hue saturation and then uh, yeah it will connect to the base color and one from the color um, yeah to roughness and I will uh, um, control the roughness using a color ramp and as well for for the bump I used a bump map a bump node I'm sorry so if I just press M select this one press M you're gonna see how it affects so here is before and here is after so I just play around with these RGB curves so it will make everything nice and great so that's it and um, yeah and now I will take an animation okay so we go to the layout and we click here and so let me just take um, a render from this view just press F12 just one as you can see how nice it is so just get rid of that and I'm in frame so let me press ctrl tab back to the timeline from frame one so let me just uh, set that to maybe 100 yeah that's fine for this case if you want you can set in a higher number so let me go to the edit mode again preferences and system where is that yeah here so if you have the optics you can turn on that well or CUDA works fine okay in this case because those are, the optics is much powerful than the CUDA so we take a render animation and we click on render boom